Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Great Line, where we're all right and wrong at the same time, featuring my dog in the background, uh, biting Luigi. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy, like, the, this time I joined in by my two, uh, my two companions, uh, uh, Mickey Boy. Hey, oh. Like, and Kodak's Prime. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, that's me. Hi, how you doing? There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, like, and once again, we are here, uh, still on our uh, on our long-lasting quest on uh, helping uh, SA two OAP uh, for like uh, well, to reach her donations for medical, surgery, and ER bills that are going on right now. Like, she's been going through a lot of stuff. But in the description, you can find the full thread with the explanation provided by her, as well as the links and how you can support her. Like, but. Uh, enough about that, like, uh, or, or, wow, that went wrong fast, uh, <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, just, uh, about that for right now. like, uh, just, uh, going a quick round, like, how, how are you guys doing? How is everything going? I got ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> I love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, once again. <laughs> All right, um, like, uh, Mickey? I'm, I'm just vibing, man. I'm good. All right, um, but uh, today we're going to actually, like, uh, have a little bit of a more chill time. Like, we're not, we're not going to try to, like, aim at some jabs here and there, although if it happens, uh, like, we'll also not complain. Uh, but we're most likely like, just here like, to cause a bit of a discussion. Uh, in, a, in a platform that is actually uh, involved in the discussion because a few days ago uh, Twitch, uh, well, it, it wasn't a matter of days, it's been going on for like the last couple of months um, where Twitch started dealing with actual DMCA systems uh, and it caused a lot of problems for, for people and they just decided to like, instead of taking the risk of like, oh, just delete the ones that got flagged, like, some people just ended up like just deleting everything uh, to avoid any kind of repercussions to uh, on their channels and everything. But uh, to give the best uh, summarize on that, like I think uh, the one that is more familiar with the doc and everything is Codex here. Uh, Codex, would you like to, or could you mind like giving us uh, the full uh, or at least the more detailed explanation of it? So uh, from what I was able to gather, uh, basically Twitch the almighty DMCA curse that a lot a lot of uh, YouTube videos have been uh, faced with. So the problem was a lot of Twitch streamers had been using a lot of copyrighted materials, such as uh, songs, uh, maybe movie materials and stuff like that. So that was claimed by either the companies that own them or just random dudes that say they own that property. So one that happened that came as a shock because this was something that twitch just didn't really deal with like how can you like dmca live streams so it it caught people off guard for uh for a good reason but at the same time uh it was just one of those things where it was unexpected uh people were confused they didn't know how to react and they were looking to twitch for certain answers and what twitch said i i I've, i'm trying to I remember the apology they gave for the whole DMCA issue, but for the life of me, I cannot remember it. But from uh, from the deep remember vaguely was that the apology was basically the best thing that people heard and the worst thing that people heard. It was basically the same type of divide that YouTube had with the issues of uh, videos on that platform. Everything else being yeah, yeah DMCA exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, as somebody who is part of this platform, who is affiliated, um, it did have me worried a, a, a little bit. It did, excuse you, it did have <laughs> me worried a little bit. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to, uh, you know, use copyrighted material because I did that way back in my stupid youth and I saw the consequences because of that. And I told myself, no, I'll just, just use material that isn't going to get me in trouble. 
but for those who are like for those who are you know interested in using like that you know speaks their volumes like travis scott or stuff like that then it's going to be a bit of a problem um Am I am I missing am I missing anything else? I don't I don't think I am, right? Yeah, no, no, okay. I think I have the the thread right here. Okay, your frustration and confusion with recent music related copyright issues is completely justified. Things can and should be better for creators that they have uh, been recently. Uh, the next few weeks will outline our plan for being better partners for two creators. We were as surprised by the number of music related DNC and techno as you were. Before May, we received like a fewer than fifty per year. Now we're receiving thousands each week. Uh, this led to the warning email some of you received in October. Three days was simply not enough time for most experience to like sort through, through everything. In addition to building and improving tools, we need to provide creators with more educational resources. Uh, and apparently, in four days, we'll hold the like they're they're gonna hold the first of four copyright focused creator camp live sessions, uh, which you can follow in the link that they put there. Uh, we know you still have many questions that were co covered in this mm -hmm. thread. We pulled together some of your most common questions into a frequent asked question for your information. You can find them there, um, and as well as uh, music-related copyright claims. So, so again, it's, it's based around music, which once again, like by that point, it just goes more into like, okay, how are you using your music and everything? I, I feel <laughs> right. Uh -huh. um, like I'm pretty sure that uh, first of all, like the, the music that we have in the background right now is. Once again, I'm supposed to let to be like free to copyright new jazz lumbar music, uh, which mm -hmm. once again, like, it's still like, like, it's still good stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna complain, but it definitely could be better. But I'm not gonna risk using Sonic Unleashed soundtrack, but because I'm not a fucking dweep. Uh, but with look, like, with that said, this definitely caused a lot of implications because, like always, it's not even the there wasn't even a warning, like if, if I recall, like that's the major issue. Like it's not like, oh, this. Yeah, system... the major issue was just like it was just so out of nowhere. It was just basically, oh, everything's being getting getting DMCA. Uh, what do we do here? We, we don't know. Like you're the platform. What do we do here? It's like, oh, uh, we'll get back to you. Yeah, <laughs> like and uh, they're just gonna do fucking camp sessions and shit. Like which once again, I'm. They're gonna feel spectacular because once again the legal world and the internet world are not properly well connected <laughs> uh, they're just like there's always gonna be fine ways of making loopholes and everything like just it's just mostly a matter of like consulting a, a proper lawyer and everything or just be able to understand laws by yourself <laughs> enough to, to know yeah. what you what you can and cannot yeah. do like like mm -hmm. a good example of that like uh, when tfs was uh like just working on Kakarot, they got bot muted on the intro, which is literally just Shala Heshala. But mm -hmm. and there's also the point in the game where the music plays again, and they got no issue because they were also talking and everything. So it it, it is a matter of how you're working things through. Like let's say that you if you use music on a like a, a kind of uh, calling out Mickey a little bit here, like if you're using it on an, on an art stream. And you're not talking or anything. That, Wait, that why are you calling me out? Because you do art and you know people that do art streams. <laughs> yeah, but most of them talk. Okay, but I'm just saying that you're the, like out of the three of us, you're the one that's more more into that area. <laughs> yeah, I'm more connected in that area. Yeah. Exactly. So like that's where I'm going with that. So like even then, like yeah, anyway, just continue. just by talking about that, like we can kind of find ways because we've been we've been dealing with. Another per another organization that treats this way like like it's just the fucking uh, tactic of the weed. Like let's see how we can fuck people up even more with co with copyright and shit. <laughs> um, so with that, I want to make like this topic is gonna be like with this being established and now Twitch dealing with any with at least a more uh, complex treatment of DMCA. I don't want to talk about uh, like. Uh, like an actual fight now with between YouTube and Twitch because some people were actually just like mm -hmm. once again going ding, like ding. yeah di, 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 ding. but because once again people were like actually considering it and I'm just and first of all I'm just gonna say no don't do that because on one hand Twitch and uh, Twitch and YouTube uh, like like the relationship between those two like it's so it's super com more complex than what you might think because they're 
they're both competitors but also different in their own areas like you're not gonna get mm-hmm. one person that likes to just watch uh vlogs and stuff like uh to get into twitch but if you're into gameplays or let's plays and all that you might be in the, in the middle of those two and even then like what you're into like it is more complicated but more complicated you think to, to the point where if there's one thing that if there's one person aside from the audience themselves that knows uh youtube is the competitor which is twitch at the end of the day twitch is a competitor of you of youtube not just because youtube is also trying mm-hmm. to get into the stream aspect but because twitch is still a, a form of media and content creation people that just do any kind of video can still be uh like are still being put uh, to test with people that watch both youtube and twitch no matter what you're into that's how i was pops <laughs> the, um so like you have a clear competition here so they have to know that if they want if there's one thing that youtube deals with a lot is copyright uh claims and false claims and all that shit. so yeah, yeah. like they, they do they deal with that on, the, on a daily basis like and with that said like this set of tweets and replies is still better than what youtube has been just typing for the last eight years <laughs> At the very mm-hmm. least, like ever since Google, if I might, uh, if I might say, <laughs> um, yeah. So once again, like with that, I do, I do want to talk about again, like what, w- which one of the two would you prefer? And yeah, keep in mind that we use both platforms. Like uh, at least in my case, I'm archiving all the, all the stuff that we've been working on recently, and they're gonna be uploaded on on an actual YouTube channel once I have an actual show going on there. <laughs> um uh, like mm-hmm. actually like, yeah. uh but also like but in the meantime we're all we're also using twitch so we're both consumers of both areas like they both have us by the balls because we're still enjoying the stuff that comes out of it like that can still be that can still say more about people creating content for the sake of making a living out of the things that they love rather than the platforms being good <laughs> but the but yeah but i digress uh would you guys have any opening thoughts on this debate uh uh in terms of in terms of opening thoughts to be to be perfectly honest just like it's good to have competition and it's good to with platforms at least in my standpoint because to be perfectly honest like if i had to if i had to choose between like where i would want to like continue to live stream i would definitely choose twitch because twitch is built on the business of live streaming. YouTube is built for the business of content creation, right? Because YouTube, let's be real here, you guys, it's probably going to be the best place to put your content because it's made for content creators and content creation. So in a sense, like, I see YouTube as the platform to where I can share like some of the stuff that's been happening on Twitch. And then YouTube would be like some of the stuff that I could share for different ideas like that i can't put on live streams so i mean in terms of which is better it's basically like choosing between honestly choosing between a phone that you're going to use whether it's an iphone or an android because the the debate the debate itself is honestly pretty pretty tame and pretty mundane and pretty stupid to begin with let's be let's be real here yeah but in terms of what would prefer also it's thanks just for having preference. you here also thanks for having you here <laughs> <laughs> me specifically here <laughs> no and you're like uh, 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 the, this debate is fucking stupid and you're like yeah that's why we have you here i am i am the point <laughs> I am the voice of reason. This is fucking dumb. <laughs> that's kind. Of, that's kind of sad when the voice of reason is going. This is fucking stupid. No, no. When the voice of reason is the same one, and you're like, I got ice cream. <laughs> I like ice cream. <laughs> hey man, ice cream is good. <laughs> Shut what the hell up. No, no, no. It is good, but like this is the equivalent of like. Say like, okay, who's the one that's gonna work on the World Health Organization? And you pick a guy with, with Down syndrome. You're like, more please, more what? Doesn't matter, more please. <laughs> Stupid. I put you in front of like uh, you. You're 
You're in charge of accounting now. I got a speed. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. No, like oh, you can count I, to one. But on one hand, I do agree. Like, although my rebuttal to that will still be like, again, there was a time once again where you, Twitch, and then for some reason, like I'm gonna assume because people didn't actually use it, Twitch actually had a, an upload feature. <laughs> like there was an attempt. Yeah, but... it did. It... Yeah, there was an attempt to have an upload feature, but in a lot of areas, it just did didn't really work and that was like that idea was just like scrapped yeah like, majorly because they tried to do they technically initiated the whole premiere feature that youtube is now using like which is like okay you're using uh -huh. like you're making videos but they're being showcased as a stream <laughs> which again like I, 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 yeah it's a good idea but it's a good add-on like i will still be okay if it had the overall upload feature instead of just premiering <laughs> Like, if that makes sense. Like, I, like, I just think that yeah. it needed both, like, in order to, like, properly coexist. But, once again, like, there was an attempt, and um, and if they had committed to it properly, they would have definitely made it. <laughs> like, they would have definitely at least kept that oh, yeah. feature around. Like, at the end of the day, like, you have, uh -huh. you still have, like, uh, SnapTube, I think is the name, and Vimeo, who are also working on those things. And, and once again, like, Facebook is technically also uh, hitting the mark on that regard. So again, like, it's not like there there cannot be a second big uploader, uh, like in town. It's just a matter yeah. of once again like committing to it, and Twitch didn't because on mm -hmm. one hand they didn't really need to, but at the end of the day, once again like uh, there are a lot of points where Twitch and YouTube are generally competing. Like they're not the iPhone versus Android debate. Like. Like, there are generally competing for those, at least in the gaming area, or those that require yeah. any kind of commentary, per se. If you're watching somebody for, like, a vlog or animated stuff, then sure, most likely, Twi like, YouTube is the upper hand on that. But if you're watching a Let's Play or yeah. a, or a Speed Paint, per se, or, or or a podcast, like, hey, thanks for following, <laughs> um, or... We're most like you're most likely actually gonna have a debate on where you wanna go, like either YouTube or Twitch. So there is an actual collision. So mm -hmm. there, like that's where I will like. I agree with you that the debate is like what I'm doing. The debate is not for the sake of canceling the other. It's most likely for the sake of like okay, which which one will be better for people? Like because even some are once again like you have people premiering things and they will sometimes do it here on Twitch while doing something else. Uh, like a good example yeah. of that is TFS, that they stream any kind of random shit and at the end of the of the stream, they premiere a Dragon Ball a DBCA short uh, or mm -hmm. and then put it on YouTube afterwards. Like that, that's kind of the stuff that I'm talking about. Yeah. But I think uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, another another thing that uh, kind of worked in the premiere's favor was when Maximilian Dude was doing the uh, assist me alien uh premiere yeah. because it was basically just a hybrid of like an episode of assist me but it was also like an aliens movie mm -hmm. like it was literally premiered as like the new episode of assist me but it was also the new a new aliens movie that he put out which which was really good mind you like the incredibly good for that and i think uh i think because of like twitch's help with the whole premiere system that's probably why it was so good so i like, Again, not to say that Twitch can't have something like that, but let's be real: not a whole lot of plat, not a whole lot of people who are part of the platform who are, who are as big as Million Dude or Pocky Mean or Pocky Main or like fucking Critical or even or even uh, Corpse for that matter. Like they're probably using that feature a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how about you, Mickey? Like any opening thoughts? Uh, like here. Uh, uh, I've been trying to gather them, uh, so it's gonna be a little scattered. But I, I see, I see the copyright in DMCA as a sign of not something bad, but something in between, because that means they are actually taking the time to make sure that they are trying to fix any kind of abuse that is happening in the system. But they also know that they've screwed up. Yeah, and. And yeah, they they could, probably could have worded it better from what I've been hearing and a little bit of what I've seen. 
but at the end of the day, they acknowledged it better than most of the com- most of the competitors. Yeah, they have a premiere thing, which I think could get utilized a whole lot more, especially if you're not in- into really at-, at you know beginning streaming yourself live, but you want to put out content on there in kind of a similar format. I do miss the upload feature though, because that actually. Actually, I, I haven't used it, but that was actually a nice alternative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just... I, I used the whole it, thing... Nice yeah. Uh, the, and honestly, Twitch has a higher uh, people count compared to Google uh, in terms of lines, people, and all that. Who actually sit there and work with people compared to Google who will just sit there and say, oh, let's the bot handle it it's like yeah no uh, you need human and fucking interaction for this not yeah. not some nah, fucking not fucking algorithm and little... then blame the algorithm like it just came out on its own like... yeah we're fixing the algorithm no you're not you said that three years ago yeah. and before that you said it four no and once again like uh, it, 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 that, that's so, my biggest gripe when they just bring the whole algorithm factor like they say it like like it wasn't their fault <laughs> Like, oh, it's the algorithm. Okay, try, boom, boom. They, try to, they try to spin it, yeah. Like, like, okay, like, oh, it was the algorithm. Okay, who made the algorithm? We, there we go. <laughs> and it's not some weird self-learning algorithm. You have to put in some code to help update it and all that. You, it doesn't automatically update it. Yeah. So you're still the problem because you can fix the algorithm by just taking in honestly they just need to make a new department for manual reviewers mm-hmm. like which again they like can... it's, it's always easier said than done because uh, if i recall is doesn't youtube get like 600 hours of content per minute or something like that something yeah like... it, at, at least something like that 600 hours per minute or per 2 minute so, so yeah, something I, of I'm, that nature I, i'm i'm talking about like more more high priority cases go to actual manual review yeah like videos that we, uh, with brand new accounts kind of like i'm talking about like fresh like maybe week old accounts uh, but like accounts that have been there for a couple years that are getting a strike that they'll get a ping and they'll be put on at least a waiting list you know mm-hmm. yeah i don't know like definitely and like, like have these manual reviewers on on standby for these, you know, for the claims when like someone disputes a claim. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. But those... it never happens. They just go right back to the bot, from what I can tell. Yeah, I mean, it always ends up going to the, or at least it goes into that one uh, uh, customer service person that is just like so fucking done with life. <laughs> You're like, uh, I'm 22. And I hate everything. I hate the world. I hate my life. And if I could, I would stream my suicide right now just so you can be pleased with your review. You can be pleased. What? He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it, Twitch. Don't don't get him. Um, anyway. No, I mean, I'm talking about YouTube, so I'm pretty sure like they're like, yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, you got you to gotta just be careful how you. I know, I know. No. Yeah, no, don't worry, don't worry. And once again, if you take me seriously, then the problem is not me. And the problem is... <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Well, yeah. well, we don't know with Twitch. No, I'm just I'm just stating that but for Twitch's sake, <laughs> not, not for your... You know, for not for anybody else it's just like twitch but he's, he's he's joking don't don't get on him for it and it's it's not a, it's not a bad suicide joke okay i'm gonna shut up now <laughs> yeah, just, just, just stop talking somebody has if somebody has um, with what agm has said somebody would have said something a long time ago let's be hey, real here like hey. uh, but that actually I, i'm gonna start my like the first major thing which is once again like the dmca is stuff i will still say that although on one hand this situation with Twitch is definitely a red flag. I'm not gonna pretend that it's not. Because it's now putting people in a once again in that paranoia field of like, okay, what works and what doesn't? Uh, mm-hmm. Or what should I do in order to like uh, do a show? Do I need to change everything that I represent in order to like keep this thing working? Because yeah, today is music. Tomorrow what else might be? Because like I said, if there's one thing that people know about youtube's problems is the copyright stuff 
like people know that YouTube mm -hmm. always goes on to the copyright stuff in some form or another. So I'm pretty sure that yeah, it's it never ending issue that YouTube is always going to have because it's the biggest platform and that that problem is going to stay until there's an even bigger platform than YouTube. Yeah, like and which but, I imagine that's never. not. And, but but even but with that, I'm pretty like it will be almost fucking inept that the CEO of on Twitch or like whoever is actually in charge of the of the of the, of the way content is being managed. I'm pretty sure that the last thing that he wanted was to start dealing with with copyright shit because he knew that what, what it, it, he or she well, like we don't know hashtag feminism like might uh, like might be aware like oh shit if we start dealing with those things we will be condemned YouTube and no and people want but also don't want that <laughs> like when it comes to creating a yeah a web a website <laughs> uh, yeah. so like. When, when that happens, like, I will still say that once again, like, Twitch did the better job here because at the end of the day, uh, like, they actually responded in an org with a, with a more humanistic, uh, like, wording. I think that's the major reason why I'm supportive of this. I read the thread and I do read at least a PR guy actually writing this. <laughs> Like at the yeah. very, like like instead of hello human, uh, we have gotten your report about the copyright claim regarding your, uh, like regarding your uh, SA two sucks video. Here's why. <laughs> and we and we have shown the yeah. list of reasons for why it got claimed. <laughs> like here's like hey we saw this this was going on we're sorry and we're gonna try to fix this we don't know how. And probably we like the the people that can solve it don't care, but here we are. <laughs> uh, like that, that I think, yeah. and, like that's the major thing. Like at least at this point, considering that is the one that uses more bots and everything, it's kind of ironic that Twitch is the one that feels like it has actual people there, <laughs> like in in every time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um. But like. Again, like the, yeah. the, the regarding the copyright stuff, like what do you guys kind of have to say on that on that regard? Like uh, putting both cards on the table, like putting. Uh, it's like it's like a it's like a kind of like what I was saying before. It's just like well, not not really. Get jumping ahead a little bit. A lot of companies are going to handle things very differently. It's like Google handled. Uh, their way of DMCAing things very differently than Twitch, and uh, nothing more that we can do, to be perfectly honest, because that's the way that they're going to run their business, and we can't stop stop them for it. This is will continue to be businesses, and at the end of the day, like if things like need to happen, then fucking will be it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for me though, I can see Twitch bouncing back from this very. Oh, very easily uh, because they are community driven they've learned that they they've learned not to take it 100 percent business for because it's it's screwed them over in the long run and that's actually how amazon's getting you know outside of it being a, you know it, it being a giant shopping platform their second big thing of money uh -huh. is twitch because the community trusts it uh trust trust the moderators all of them like they adding on to their team from the community not just some like random outside hire mm -hmm. they they have ambassadors that like you like when you think about it how often do you hear the term youtube ambassador compared to twitch ambassador you never you the really closest, don't hear a lot the about the closest we got to that was once again youtube heroes and that shit was awful just by the presentation and that shit yeah that was that was rough but like you you see what you see my point here yeah there's several you i've heard twitch ambassador more times than i've heard uh youtube or google ambassador i'm like that's because i've i don't think i've asked. but that, that's the thing is they actually have content creators who are out there listening for people and saying oh hey you know there are other creators that are having this 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 problem maybe try address those mm -hmm. i've been having it myself and that's why i i think it should be a priority going ahead but 
you know, they learned, Twitch has learned that this plat that this platform needs to keep its community and not keep its bottom line for hand. Yeah, because no matter what, if they keep their community happy, they keep their wallets happy. True. Yeah. Like, there's a reason why. But it's something YouTube has out and will probably never figure out. Because guess what? We ain't getting Susan watching any of this crap. Like, nah. Not for, 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 nah. for, 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 for a long ass time. Like, first yeah, of all, Susan, that. Susan will never watch anything that says, oh, your community needs to be, you know, need focus on the community. In order, because YouTube, the problem with YouTube compared to Twitch in all of these uh, types of th things with their DMCA and all that, it's like, don't listen to the content creator who said, oh, I have this under fair use. There are, you have fair use uh, uh, claims, but fair use guidelines, and you're throwing them out the window because somebody says, oh, I copyright this. And this is a company that has nothing to do with the music. Yeah. They still win. They still make the money off of it because it's cheap to do it that way. Oh, yeah. It's much cheaper to do it that way. Like, uh, it, it also does, it also does, but, does but that only hits people that are under mm, a million followers, sometimes a million followers, or a million subscribers, because guess what? They're too big to get hit mm -hmm. like that. But uh, like, once, once you hit that million threshold, you are not untouchable, but you are hard to approach that. Yeah. Way. Because, because if you have a million subs, you at least have enough to get a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And the lawyer, content, uh, a content lawyer, can go in and be like, "Yeah, no, this is wrong. They should not win this case. It's over." Yeah. Like uh... compared to say somebody with a hundred subs who is making really good quality content and are just trying to you know get themselves up, but then gets DMCA for making a noise that sounded like an odd song. It, it just gets ridiculous. On one hand, I, I will also say that, like, just going a little bit and on, a, on, a, on a tangent. I think, because, uh, like, a part of a part of the whole problem I've been seeing recently and their DMCA claims is uh, actually their, uh, is actually when playing video games, sometimes them while playing the damn game. Yeah. But, uh, that, and that's, that's the ridiculous point, and that's probably a good next talking point, uh, if you don't already have one set up. Uh, I mean, I mean, that, I have topics, but at the end of the day, like, the whole point is to have this discussion, uh, but I, I will, I will also just, like, yeah. kind of, like, to just dive into what you're saying, you just said, you said, like, like you said, like, they're not untouchable, but they're harder to, like, just tackle in, but you're fucking leafy. Mm -hmm. Leafy will be a good example of that. Like, say what, mm -hmm. like, I'm not the biggest fan of Leafy, uh, but of all things, like of all times, to actually get him down, you they pick the worst the worst time for it, uh, or the worst thing to to get mm -hmm. him on, uh, which once again I just affected YouTube in the long run even more. Mm. Like yeah, and there's also the fact that they can also technically afford to do all those things because. Yeah, PewDiePie might still be their biggest source of income, but they're getting every business known to man, like every actual like news me like news channel, every uh, I don't know uh, TV show. Like they have a lot of things going around. They they can technically afford to do that because they're kind of, they're, they're kind of finding their way to compete with fucking Disney Plus and all those other platforms uh, mm -hmm. by using just companies instead of your regular content creator which is once again like what twitch has in that difference like it's just like you said like it's more yeah. community focused because what are they what's their highest thing uh, like and, and once again they also are full with bullshit like once again like the, that whole ninja situation i'm not the biggest fan of ninja either but to just put porn on his website even after he left the, the platform even uh like that that is just like oh, what are you doing <laughs> or like just what is this yeah like uh, no and it is fair to bring to this this situations because we can talk all the smack about youtube but twitch also has a lot of smack <laughs> like what uh, mm. 
like which is like and mm -hmm. which is actually what you're saying like what you said like in on youtube you're harder to touch depending on your following meanwhile here depending on your following you also like you become even harder to tackle in in twitch's eyes like because once again like it does hurt them when a streamer gets taken down like it actually affects them like this mm -hmm. they, they lose revenue they lose uh, ads they lose actually numbers at the end of the day in their re registration in terms of audiences and, and everything so there is a reason like there is a kind of a business understanding as to why people like Pokimane are still around and all these other uh, all these other people but at the end of the day there's also that opposite extreme where twitch will protect their people so much regardless of what they do in a lot of in a lot of times you know <laughs> Like, like, mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah. kind of turning into a kind of a, a bit of a mafia. Which, in the case of YouTube, they will just silence you if they wish to. <laughs> they will, like, they will just like take down your whole channel. Like, TF, like I'm looking at, like, once again, Leafy, TFS, uh, Mr. Enter, like a lot of channels that I have seen, just taken down and by some miracle been able to 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 get back. And even then, not all of them. <laughs> um, yeah. So I can I can just uh, keep going into that part factor, but like, what is the topic? Like, if you like, uh, if you if you want to continue with what you were saying? I actually am interested. Uh, so there have been there have been some games out there that I've been hearing like, like uh, that have been getting oddly claimed on Twitch, uh, in the VOD while they're playing the games, like ga game soundtrack music. What do you expect? It's in the game. You're not turning off the music because it's atmospheric in most cases. Mm -hmm. It makes the experience and you turning ridiculous. And like a uh, games like rhythm games getting hit hard by this. Uh, I remember hearing. Uh, was, I think <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's the game Grum or the old game Grumsberry, but uh, he he was doing like a beat saber or whatever or something like that but he had the game muted and was uh like apparently katamari got he could get away with playing katamari music and play any of the the songs that were in the, the rhythm game huh. because uh -huh. they would get they'd get him screwed over i can actually uh i can actually understand that to a degree because as odd as it as, as it sounds like and it's kind of the reason why it also happens in game, in cases like Kingdom Hearts, like like the game the games themselves. The the soundtrack is its own licensing, like mm -hmm. like just because uh, like given Kingdom Hearts, like there is a chance that the composer of Simple and Clean can still uh, do copyright claims while you're playing uh, melody like Melody of Memory or whatever. Uh, I don't fucking care, Anthony. I don't uh, like. Like where people can get still, like she can still create those DNCA claims, and even if you're playing the game, like it still counts because this this is not Square or even Disney is the composer, which is its own which is its own licensing uh, situation. Uh, like that, that that that's why you will also see people muting like uh, GTA drivings, like because they had the music on or or things like that, where like they had to take care of that. <clears throat> Uh, another example will be Smash Brothers. Yes, you can technically still play Smash Brothers and stream it and everything, but if you put, uh, I don't know, like um, the, the one of the three songs <laughs> from Final Fantasy, Square is claiming that shit <laughs> because of the song, <laughs> like, like because of the tracks being played. Like I can I can understand that to a degree, like. Uh, like yeah. the fact that that yeah you cannot do that because or once again a good example a bigger example of this will be uh, Guitar Hero, like that will mm -hmm. be hard. Like I've seen people streaming that shit and then they also start getting claims from all the variations of songs that they were playing because Guitar Hero got the licensing from it, but you are only getting the licensing to to stream Guitar Hero, not the music that has been played in Guitar Hero. If that makes sense. <laughs> But yeah. but then that becomes bullcrap because you have no control over that. Oh no! Like, then like my answer to that is, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's what what really irks me is 
in this day and age, we're at a point where you need, they, companies need to accept a lot of things are going to get streamed. And a lot of the times, yeah, they're going to try and do it for money. But they've ne uh, I've never seen a case of somebody taking a well-known song from a video game or something and saying, oh, yeah, I created this. I put put it in this game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, if anything, yeah. to avoid that, definitely put, like, have, um, from now on, have, like, a disclaimer at the beginning of the stream. Uh, in your in your dis in, your, in the the panels below and maybe on an overlay disclaimer that you do not fully own the content that is created or the content that you are creating with this stuff you own you own the content itself but you don't own what you're streaming or you don't own the content that you're playing but you own the vibe the unfortunate and that, aspect of it is that most like at least in the case of Twitch. Mm -hmm. When they're claiming stuff, it's not because you're saying that you own it, it's because they see that you're making money while using it, like, in any shape or form. Mm -hmm. So, like, they're not even trying, like, you can take the claim away, but they what they want is your money, what they <laughs> Yeah, but that that's where it all kind of gets ridiculous, in my opinion, because, a lo and, and again, in this day and age, like I said before, everything gets streamed. It also gets all uploaded to YouTube, so it's already out in the public domain, and there's no way of getting around that. Yes, uh, they 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 want your money, but at the same time, kind of bullshit because a lot of times there are just people that don't do it for money; they just do it for fun, and they like to have the aesthetic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so they get they get copyrighted because oh yeah, you're using this music as like just use this. I vibe to it all the time. It's my favorite song. I'm not doing this to make money. He's like, don't care. Fuck you. I don't care. No, 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 no. You, you, you give us money now. It's like I don't have money to give. Yeah. No, like, mm -hmm. no that, that, that part is completely sad. Like I will still say, like, like, like always, like even though there's always gonna be a point of being streamed and everything or every everything being shown, like. I will still say that there needs to be a, a way to work around this, but that's the major thing. Like both Twitch and YouTube, to a certain degree, like uh, to a certain degree, Twitch because it still counts. Like they're not gonna try to change the law, and the law itself doesn't try to change the internet. Like uh, once again, like both mm -hmm. both cases cannot be like cannot coexist at their current state. Like there needs to be a a proper commitment into like a, a, a solid compromise in terms of, like where everything can go but as always like again the system goes on a certain way that just cannot be changed because the world itself like once again like uh japan stuff cannot be handled the same way as uh american stuff and just things like that like where like the laws and the systems and everything is not all unified and that is that's where everything needs to start in order to like even consider finding a way to make everything everything fair in the landscape that is online content creation <clears throat> like and also yeah. in, uh, in both ca cases were like how much are we willing to accept and how much are they willing to accept because yeah we can ask like oh be more fair in terms of what's been streamed and created and everything uh, but then you're also going through certain websites that uh once again, like Etsy, that makes a pro literally makes a profit out of things, <laughs> uh, there of IPs and yeah. kind of creatures that they don't know. Like so, so again, like where are we? What are we tackling? Uh, what can and cannot be affected? Who, who and like who can and who cannot? Like there's just a lot of things that can discover. Like just on the concept of DMCA alone, which is why once again, like it's mm -hmm. a topic. It's a non-ending topic because it will always go through multiple areas and layers and just specifications like that, which is why, once again, mm -hmm. fair use, it's never even an actual, like, it's like it's not, it, people don't actually know what can count as fair use because, once again, politics or any kind of legal aspect is written in a big way to the point where, where uh, in order to, like, avoid... Uh, in order to avoid oppression in some regards, which is why we have trials and courts and everything, but 
once again come, like it's just a whole new thing that will always go down uh, in uh, in our history of society uh, and but with that I can also go with probably our next topic which is once again like the social management <clears throat> I do mm-hmm. think that there is a debate going on because like I said while twitch yes it's also very good like I will say incredibly good uh, at being community focused, which is exact, which is kind of like I think it's gonna be the wave of the future, because even nowadays the sponsorships want things to be more organic rather than an actual ad and things like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they know that the organic way of expressing things is much more appealing and more efficient than having a big star just promoting fucking lays or. I don't know, but Kevin Beyonce doing yet another Pepsi song, <laughs> uh, like and, sh- and things like that. So, but but on the other hand, Twitch can also be on the other extreme. Like I just said, Pokimane is one of the most controversial controversial streamers in 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 current times. <laughs> like I'm not gonna say ever, but like it's at least one of the most controversial in current times, given the way. Twitch treats her and in the way they just go about uh, those kind of topics and the respect of the guidelines for the sake of supporting the community. While YouTube, because of the fact that they have so much support from big companies and big uh, media uh, platforms and everything, they can just say fuck all and then you're you're just out. Like that's why I think that that's the interesting aspect. Like there's a clear black and white situation where you're you like you have one company supporting companies and just caring about anything but like about everything that is in the community and then you have one that is all about community and pretending that everything is all happy and getting khaki dory and sesame street and santa says no <laughs> it doesn't you fat bitch <laughs> um, jesus like uh, whatever Damn. Um, so like you like you have those two extremes so like what what do you guys think uh john or let's just start with mickey this time uh i honestly really don't know what to say because it's 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 right now it's such an up in the air topic to really kind of try and put a put a whole like firm stance on it you know you know uh at least for me because i at the end of the day, I, I kind of, I, while I look into a lot of these things, I don't let it fully bother me because at, because right now I'm at a point where I haven't been able to stream more out of bur- burnout and anything. So it becomes a whole thing of, eh, yeah, so I, I, I'm going to have to actually push this on to John. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I may or may not have zoned out a little bit, so just hit me with the question again. Uh, like, what do you think of the whole way of social management or community management on both sides? Like, uh, like, what do you think that needs to be considered taking what both do? <laughs> like, like, and how extreme they are from the other. <laughs> well, you basically said it one more extreme than the other like you can't it's really hard to decipher like one extreme to the next so no, no once again like there, there, there's an argument of discussion like okay give that the case like what can be done like what what do you think for taking both of us like uh, taking both sides uh, con- in consideration what will be the ideal thing or what will be uh like the proper middle point considering what we have with, with within those two <laughs> So, for YouTube, obviously, the big one is just humanism. That's the big thing that YouTube has been missing this time, and it needs, you know, humanism. Obviously, the amount of content that's going into YouTube is, like, huge. Like, we were saying, like, 600 hours per minute going onto that site. Again, yeah, you're probably going to need to develop algorithms and stuff like that to, you know, check if this content is okay for your website but at the same time there should still be a human element to say that this was overlooked by our algorithm and then it was manually reviewed by somebody else therefore we can't have this 
on our platform. So while YouTube is missing the human element that it desperately needs, I think Twitch needs to be more firm with, with a lot of their stuff, with a lot of things that are going on with its platform. Like, yeah, a lot of controversial streamers have been on the platform for like the longest time and are still going to this day. And yet they still haven't received any any blowback, any feedback, or any form of just pretty much just any that uh, normal people like AGM, Mickey, and myself would face since we're not as big as these other big streams. Uh, so they're so the same amount of repercussions that would happen that would happen to like small time streamers like myself need to happen to some of the bigger some bigger fish that are in the sea. And yeah, I mean, that's that's a that's something that's supposed to happen regardless. And I get it. It's probably not going to happen for, for, for the longest time, but it still needs to happen. You can't be happy go lucky being part of the community saying, yeah, we're we're a big old community. Everything is all right. Everything is good. We're here for each other. Your your whole purpose of driving the community can't be a yes person you need to have you need to have firm footing as to what your community stands for what it holds in high values and most importantly those values need to be met by people who are going to continue to show this community in a better light yeah All right. No, no, no. Again, those, those are <clears throat> genuinely like, uh, like once again, like that is the reality on both situations. Like the, once again, like they're both extremes for the sake of competing with the other when they're just missing the point of why the other works despite of those extremes. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, for that, I also want to just bring out the major as the, the the next aspect, which is just uh, user survival. Which is, and by that I mean, like once again, like how many times have we said, "Oh, this is the end," on both? <laughs> oh, this is like uh, Pokemon and this other and this other bitch that literally threw the cat and was showing her, oh, showing herself topless. Like, yeah, that like, like we said that Alinity was the end. We said that uh, YouTube was over when the Avatar to Frailing happened. We said that it was over when the. Uh, adult content was happening like we, we we have said multiple times that both platforms are, are done yet despite their updates and system implementations and everything we have also said the same about patreon uh, and paypal and all this other area like DeviantArt are kind of killed itself recently but we don't know how that's gonna go at the end um like at least by the time of this recording so what do you guys think of like of the major fact like at the end of the day, like these platforms are still offering something to YouTubers and Twitch stream and, and streamers that they are still able to make something that's worth sticking around. <laughs> like they're still finding their way, like either through once again, like through Patreon or just the mere concept of subs and just everything. Like there's just like a lot of areas and like in that regard, like considering the way both of them work <laughs> and can be effective, uh, affect. Uh, effective to other people <laughs> like, like mm -hmm. the, the way Twitch and YouTube affect their their users but they still find ways to survive and sometimes even be better like I will also I will probably make a, either a video or make another debate on this later on in how uh, Twitch and YouTube media is sometimes better than professional media like actually like like I said I work on news and newspaper and everything like in all those areas so i can say that there are a lot of points where doing youtube has helped me a lot in terms of like what can i do uh, in order to like make things better in my job um so, mm -hmm. so, so like what do you guys think of like the way uh like both platforms are are handling things you know in a way that users can survive all of their all of the bullshit that both platforms bring <laughs> Uh, oh gosh 
it, I, I... <laughs> it's basically one crock pot that has a certain type of meal that somebody is going to enjoy, and then another crock pot that somebody else isn't going to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? I know it's a bit harder to just like put you like... in that spot, but like still. <laughs> <laughs> Like, in a sense, YouTube has has its formula where uh, this type of content can uh, can get you far on this website. Like, doing X and Y will lead to Z, and then Twitch has the same type of thing where X and Y can lead you to Z. So, in a, a sense, like I said, it's a it's a preference thing. So. Depending on the type of content that you want to make, then you are probably going to default to either YouTube or Twitch. And regardless of regardless of where you land, you still have to you still have to follow those guidelines and follow the procedures in order to make a living on each platform. Yeah. Uh and in terms of going to the survivability part. In terms of if we had to pick between which one would be more user survivable out of the two, it's oddly enough, Twitch. Like YouTube you, like may you. have had the longer run run standard, but Twitch has more with since Twitch is a more community focused. You are more likely to survive in a user base like that than on YouTube where corporate companies over even harder without even being said mm -hmm. but uh i definitely agree with john it, it does depend on you know basically another way of doing it is it's like a cookout you you either have hamburgers or hot dogs and it all depends on what you you like do you like hamburgers do you like hot dogs uh it it, it really just boils down to personal preference mm -hmm. all right um all right like, like, uh, like we're almost at the one hour mark but also like i do think that we're pretty much covering like the, the at least the most major basics like given the fact that mm -hmm. like, we can go just on and on until like oh user interface and all this shit but like first of all like no uh, second. No, that's that's <laughs> that, that would take that would take way too long and like and, and it's just like going into we the, don't have the class, more into technicisms that not there are like are not the major concern for even the the most uh, the average uh, online user like I'm not even saying like Twitch user or YouTube user like just online user that's been around for at least the last decade. <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. like there's there's at least yep. once again with that but I uh, with that any final thoughts regarding like the overall discussion and everything the overall just in general uh, we're in a time where well things will come out of nowhere and we will get hit with things that we don't expect like like Twitch getting DMCA's but in the long run it all depends on how the company will t take. Uh, will take the fall for it. Will they push it on to somebody else, or will they straight up say, "Yeah, we understand this is happening. We apologize, and we will try and help you." Because that's what that's what is the major difference between Twitch and YouTube is. One says, "These are the guidelines You're on your own," while Twitch is like, "These are the guidelines. Would you like to talk them?" We, we can help you through or take a look at this extensive guide that we have made for people who are learning the guidelines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it all boils down to if a company is trying or not. Yeah. And that's a, that's a sad part. If a company is trying, then we're in, we're in, we're in deep shit. If, if we can literally just say like, Oh, the company is trying to do something because there's a different there's a huge difference between trying to do something and actually doing something mm -hmm. because if a company is actually willing to do something then yes we'll actually change and something will happen but if the initiative isn't taken and nothing happens nobody wins yeah, yeah. 
All right, then with that, I think we're gonna like we're gonna have our our, our regular break, uh, but we're gonna be starting making preparations for our actual gaming stuff. Uh, like, what what do you guys wanna tackle this time? Like, were you guys gonna stick to Mario Kart for, for in the meantime? Or you guys wanna 